Welcome to Foundations of Programming tutorial on Armdahl's Law. Armdahl's Law basically states that the runtime of a program using multiple processes is bound by the sequential part of the program. So basically what this says is that having a dual core processor and putting a computer program in it that's been paralyzed to run on a dual core processor won't get double the speed up. Likewise for a quad core processor or eight cores, whatever it happens to be, there is a limit as to how fast that program can execute and that's dictated by the sequential part of the program. Let's illustrate this by an example. So get my pen. Let's assume we have a program like so and this program has a runtime of 128 minutes on one processor. So a clever programmer comes along and says I can make this run faster. In fact I can make this middle block of code run in parallel so the blocks at the end, each end will be sequential and that's cool. And it just so happens with some testing that the clever programmer has a runtime of 32 minutes for each piece of sequential code which leaves a 64 minutes for one processor to run the parallel code. So the clever programmer then decides, okay I'm going to run this on a dual core processor. Well, we can't do much about the sequential parts, so we've still got 32 minutes there and 32 minutes there, but hey, the parallel code can run in 32 minutes, which is half the time that it would run on a single processor. So we get a total runtime of 96 minutes. Likewise, now we go quad-core processor, same thing, we've got 32 minutes at each end because we can't do much about the sequential part of the code, but we can reduce that by a further factor of 2, a quarter of 64, which is 16 minutes, so we now have a total runtime of 80 minutes. And we can keep re increasing the number of processes, but the best we're ever going to do, absolute best, is 64 minutes which is the time to run the sequential code. I'm going to expand on this a little bit more so we are going to get a little bit more mathematical here. Armdahl's law can be written like this. can be written like this. One on one minus P plus P on N. So what does that mean? P is the proportion of code percentage of the code that can be sped up and 1 minus P is a sequential part of the code. So if P equals 90% so that means we can speed up 90% of the code that means 1 minus P equals 10% and as N increases this term becomes 0 so regardless, infinite number of processes, we end up on 1 on point 0.1, which equals 10. So the best we can ever do on a program that has a 90% of its code can be sped up with an infinite number of processes is a speed up of 10. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on Armdahl's Law. It's an interesting law 
and has applications, particularly nowadays if you're writing programs, multi-threaded programs for dual-core and quad-core processors. Thank you.